Morning of August 8th, 2019, Calvin Cass continuing our periodic look at the demolition of the former Wyeth Arist Pfizer building here in Rouse's Point. There's a sign that's put up recently. Leading off of that industrial warehouse. <laughs> Is not a a crowd pleaser, I think. Not a lot of jobs in warehouses. This is the parking lot that uh, is now pretty much vacant. That was once jam packed with employees. We're going to move on closer and take a look as to see how the demolition is continuing. It's really mind-boggling when you think of uh, the attitude of big business and what they think about the, the local communities. The decades of employment that this uh, facility has provided, the growth over the years, uh, the workforce they accumulated. And now rather than pay taxes on the building, they prefer to destroy it. We've now relocated west, a little west, a little closer to that parking lot. And I find it ironic. We shot this building last time we were here a week or so ago. But it's really ironic that they let this little building stand. This is the turnstiles that the union employees would use to enter. And The fact that there are no more employees to utilize it, it's just, the irony is amazing that they, they would leave it undestroyed at this point in time. The mountains of debris continue.
Our final view today will come from in front of the Ralsus Point Elementary Schoolyard and today August 2nd and just a, a little bit over a month from now school will be in session. And I don't think anybody wants this debris falling into the schoolyard while the students are there. The windows have been taken out of this area. But they remain in that area. Not sure the significance of that. And that takes us here up to the Maple Street front of the building. So this, which is right there. So this is our August 2nd 2019 look at the ongoing destruction of the Wyeth Harris facility, former Wyeth Harris facility in Rouse's Point. <laughs>